all right welcome back to another video youtube so <laughs> ran into a little problem this engine light just came on and that means it is time to see what happened so we're gonna head over to autozone really fast to get a report on what the code is all right so we went to autozone we got the codes checked for the car uh cool thing i like about autozone is they can uh use an obd2 scanner for you and uh, pull up a report for free but cool thing is they were able to do it quickly and the car is fine but it looks like we got this uh, p0496 and it gives you all the information here this was the this was the uh, part and it does come with a lifetime warranty which is cool so this is the part that's going to be used all right so we're out here in the morning it's pretty early but uh we ended up taking off the valve canister which is right here and you're just going to need a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet at an impact wrench right here to remove it so this is the old one that we're removing and this is the new one we'll be installing it's basically going to go in just like that push that in there we go pretty much lining that up I don't want to push the screw in there we go and put all the connectors in Perfect. and then all we need to do is just tighten up that screw I'll be right back. All right, so we haven't started the car. Now let's see what we got. It looks like it's still doing it. So we'll probably give it a little bit of time to, I guess, clear the code for now. We'll be right back, you guys. All right, y'all, so I didn't get a chance to film it, but I drove home earlier like I mentioned and uh, I drove about 15 miles and the engine light was still on so what I did was I just uh, unhooked one of the battery terminals for like two minutes and uh, hopefully let's see if uh... yep it looks like it's off engine code gone and we got engine light off so in case there's another one I'll bring you guys along with me next time thanks for watching